mining ships. Abort Masrium ore pickup. Repeat, abort Masrium ore pickup. The Citadel has come alive. It's attacked the mines. Our satellite picked up this message. Our defensive begins. The shall no longer be affected by those whose flesh That thing seems to be biomechanical. It's, it's made an energy web that can go into new space. The moons are surrounded. Rescue ships can't get through. Everyone is dying. Mazarin, not leave Iosha's moons. The bleeding flesh that enters our citadel will be killed and thrown into tissue vats for reuse. Gar has spoken. That's the latest message from the citadel. Stay away. The energy web is coming right toward our location. Please, please do not approach Iosha. There you have it. Uh, welcome to Eradicator. Now, <laughs> confession, I can't entirely remember how to play this game, so this is like the third attempt I've had of um, trying to play it and get the control set up and everything. So you have three characters you can pick from in this game. You've got Elena, which is your character I'm going to use because like, I played through the game a few times as her back in the day. Um, and then you've got Dan Blaze, who's like your typical kind of Duke Nukem y type of bloke. Um, and Kamchak, the Tri Trivoyan Warrior. Um, now I've not played as either of those guys because I got used to using, using this lady's weapons. Anyway, so this is a little, little known third person slash FPS. Uh, Looks like I'll be adding the cost of a new ship to my price tag. Now yeah, what, what the lady said. What are these things? Can I pick them up? No. Alright. Set myself on fire. Always good. So at the moment I've got the in-game help turned on but I keep forgetting that I haven't got space to jump turned off so I can jump on the mouse. There's a lot of jumping in this game. Uh, like I say, it's as much a f third person, early third person 3D platformer as it is a first person shooter. You can do all the jumping and such like from the first person, hmm. but it's not entirely recommended. Oh, let me up there. Right, I want to get up there. There we go. Um... So I've got one of them, whatever that is. Go down this lift here. Going here first, unlike the other 50 times I tried to play this bit. Okay, that's blown up. And this is kind of like... I would say this is more like... Um, more like games like... Oh, thank you. Taking out one satellite anyway. So that will let us get get into an area earlier on in the uh, well later on earlier on. What am I talking about? Later on in the game. Um, I've got to watch out for the. This sludge looks pretty nasty. Be careful not to touch the radioactive mud. Yes, apparently that's apparently. jump out, woman. talking a great deal because it's actually quite a difficult game and it's quite easy to die um, but yeah as you can see it's a kind of it's of that definite 90s era of uh, first person shooters but it has a little bit more of this sort of alien trilogy kind of uh, puzzle solving and uh, 
death trap oriented sort of angle to it. Okay, now where do we want to Okay, we've been in there. Should be able to get through here now. Okay, down a bit. <laughs> That's level one. Um. So I turned the CD audio for, on for this for a, a little bit of a, a giggle as I've not heard the CD audio before, but the CD audio seems to be oh good grief. Seems to be more ambient than music. Where the the like ad lib sound blaster music is like music. It's kind of very heavy metal esque. Oh good lord, what are we getting shot at? Something's shooting us. Where is it? Oh, there you are. Come on. Let me die. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh! I've got like an option ship. He did. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think this is probably, this is definitely one, if you like, like, Dark Horses, or, there's a game I ought to cover, although probably, uh, Disney Just have, the air vent I need. Have me, might well have me for it, but, ooh. Uh, can we go up there? No. Does that, that look, I mean, that looks like a lift to me. Oh, hang on. What's that opened? Where did we come in from? Quite what I meant to do. Never mind. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Have some of that. Right. Got to, uh... The less power they have. The less oh god, who's shooting me? What's shooting at me? Something's shooting at me. Oh, damn it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm not bantering quite as much on this. It's really requiring quite a lot of comp It's quite spongy to control. I mean... Not so much so that it's aggravating or anything like that, just enough that you do have to be careful where you're going, otherwise things get a bit hairy. You gonna let me through? Oh, oh. It's a party. <laughs> yeah. 90s voiceover is hilarious. Ah, oh, goodness. Goodness me. Good have some of that as well. Um, I don't think that's... Uh, yeah, that's level two done. I mean, as you can see, it's quite an interesting little game. I mean, it's a bit rough around the edges, and it's often quite actually... It, actually, later in the game, very much so. It gets very difficult to see where you're going. I will say that for it. Um, in its... In, 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 being objective about negative things in the game, um, but yeah, it's well worth a look if you're into your 90s FPS games. 
Um, I know I am focusing on them a lot, but it's what I've got available in the more retro area that's easy to pick up video of, and it's also stuff that I've got quite a good history with. It's like that, like I say, that you know we had a we had a 486SX25 in the 90s, and a lot of FPS and EGA platform games were were played on that beast, and we had a great time with it. So yeah, it's just good to revisit these games. Anyhow, uh, this has been for his Retro 81, as always, and um, I will speak to you again soon. Uh, take care of yourselves, hope you're staying safe, hope the lockdown blues aren't getting, you, getting to you too much, and uh, I'm out of here. Take care.